Hello and welcome to the Life in Ohio vlog for March 28th, 2020. <clears throat> um, just kind of give a little bit of an uh, update on COVID-19 here in Ohio. Um, a lot of life has really, in my case, stayed the same. I'm a work at home person anyway. So I've been working at home for quite a while. Um, but, uh, you know, just read some stuff on Facebook uh, from some of my friends. I have some friends all over this country thanks to my uh, relationship with people in the Linux community. Uh, you know, people like Amber Kramer, uh, <coughs> Amber Grainer, I should say. Um, of course, my family and all that. And um, I think... The thing right now I miss most about um, being able to not necessarily just go to places like stores and stuff is that that really hasn't stopped. Uh, a lot of the stores I usually go to are on the essential list, you know, things like Kroger and stuff like that, um, and Sam's Club. But further is just the normal. Kind of thing we all just kind of take for granted. Um, we take uh, things like our church for granted. And the thing I miss the most right now is my church family. And if you're watching this and you don't believe in Jesus, one of the things that I do want to share is just how much I miss these people. These people I see maybe once or twice a week. Uh, Pastor Spriggs, uh, you're, you're inspiring to me uh, in how uh, you're leading this church through this, through our church through this uh, time of great um, distress. A lot of us are just feeling uh, broken. And I know that at least through your messages, and things like that uh, uh, that just is just expiring to me it gives me the thing this whole world needs and that's hope there's so many people that read and take what a doctor says as as, as the gospel with things that's simply not true there's 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 I mean are they, do they have lots of training? Yes. Are they making good decisions? Yes. All right. But doctors can, are not infallible because they're human beings. One person I know that is not fallible in this whole entire world is Jesus Christ. He is my Lord and Savior. And I haven't been always been faithful to him. I still fail. Multiple times. And uh, I do know that he's my hope that we can get out of this uh, somewhat intact. I know there's people that are hurting. You know, and uh, I can't really do anything about those people. I wish I could. I wish I could. God can. And God's going to deal with them in multiple ways anyway. But I think the thing that we all need to remember is that you know, without hope, without having hope in Jesus, without having hope in anything, we're living a depressing and hopeless life. And um, whether you believe in him or not, you need to have hope that this country can get out of this. Because we can so one of the things I implore to people, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling depressed, look towards Jesus. And he can help you. Stop watching the mainstream media for every little coronavirus update. I know some of you just get sucked in by that stuff. But... That's not necessarily designed to give you hope. That's not designed to to um, sh 
show promise. You know, the, the the old adage is if it bleeds, it leads is the thing that that uh, draws media and makes media what it is today. So keep that in mind and uh, keep Jesus in your heart and uh, he can help you get through this. You don't have to watch every one of Mike DeWine's updates. Mike DeWine's our governor. He's doing a great job. I don't always agree with him, but you don't have to watch every him and Amy Acton every week, every day. You do not have to do that. In fact, I recommend against it because it's not really gonna give you a hope. It's 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 uh, sobering some of the statistics they're giving, and but but whether you know them or not, it's not gonna change what you're going through and what iota. So. Anyway, that's, I'm going to keep it short today. That's about all I have. Um, but uh, This world needs, this country needs people of faith to rise up and to pray. And it, if one thing happens, if one change happens in this world, I hope that it draws more people to him. So, thank you everyone for watching. God bless. Stay safe.